Tomorrow will mark six years since a pregnant woman was shot and killed as she was driving along a local road. Brittany Stike's family still doesn't know who fired the shots that killed her and left her young granddaughter wounded. And Jeanette Levy spoke with detectives and Stike's parents about how they are not giving up the search for the truth. But you Every said. day is hard. But these two days, they're very hard. As August 28th gets closer, each day gets a little worse for Mary Dotson, Brittany Stikes' mother. She's on our mind. Everything's on our mind. We miss her so much. Time hasn't changed any of that. She's not here. She should be here, and she's not. It was August 28th, 2013, when a pregnant Brittany drove her yellow Jeep toward her parents' home, her young daughter Aubrey in tow. They were going to her father's birthday celebration. On US 68, someone fired and Brittany went off the road. Brittany and her unborn child died and Aubrey was wounded but survived. She's now in the second grade and doing well. Well, it's hard with Aubrey. You see the things that she's missed out on, Brittany's missed out on. The Dotsons have held a number of vigils to mark what would have been Brittany's birthday and the anniversaries of her murder. As Brown County detectives and BCI agents have run down a number of leads, all of them dead ends. Every anniversary like this that goes by that we failed to solve the case, it, it hurts us. And we just want to get this done for them, but it needs to be the right person. And we think there's somebody out there that can get us there. We've done just extensive background research on every name that's ever been possibly brought up in this case. Uh, and that's why it is so frustrating. Somebody knows that it happened. Somebody did it and somebody out there can come forward. Investigators say Stikes' husband Shane has been cooperative. The hope is that another year doesn't pass without knowing who killed Brittany. I need someone to pay for it. I need to sit in that courtroom and watch that judge hit that gavel and say guilty. I need that because they took something that was not theirs to take. Now, Brittany Stikes' parents will hold a vigil at the scene of the murder tomorrow night on US 68. It starts at 7 and everyone is welcome to attend. Paula. Thank you, Anjanette. And there is a $20,000 reward for information that leads to the arrest of the killer of Brittany Stikes and her unborn child. Anyone with information can call the Brown County Sheriff's Office.